I have so many lectures and assignments and homework to be doing and I'm making a vlog. Let's see how this goes. Hey, what's up? My name's Aoife. Uh, I'm a first year student here in DCU. Uh, you are most welcome to my vlog, I guess. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just a little warning for you, but I never do. So it's not the first time, won't be the last. Um, yeah, the case is done. Um, and I think the big thing weighing in on people's minds at the moment is the inevitable arrival of assignment deadlines and exams. And for anything like me, anything like my friends, you are absolutely head wrecked, uh, which is natural, but it's not natural to be like that constantly. So I guess I'm going to be sharing some practical keyword there being practical uh tips for minding your head at this very stressful time and just in general because college is hard so lo and behold here are my top five tips for minding your head minding your minds i like say and trying to just get through it kicking us off at number five is mindfulness the one everyone knows According to the HSE website, mindfulness is the practice of paying attention to whatever is happening in the present moment and experiencing it without judgment, whatever that means. Um, it helps bring you into the present, so basically focusing on what is happening right now and what you can and can't control. It can be good for relieving, sort of, if you have anxiety about that deadline maybe at the end of the week or that exam um you know it's beneficial on the HSE website there are ways that you can be more mindful on a day-to-day -day basis uh such as trying something new like sitting in a different seat in meetings that's not very practical if you're doing online class but you know if you have meetings sit in a different place uh gentle walk or yoga can help you cope if you've been over busy mind I do agree with that uh, exercise personally is a big thing for helping me um, deal with stress. It was a big way of dealing with stress when I sat my leaving cert, when I was supposed to be sitting my leaving cert. Um, as well as naming thoughts and feelings, for example, saying this is anxiety, I am feeling stressed. That is a big thing, helping, it sort of helps to ground you and I, based, I think it's like telling your brain what what it's feeling. And freeing yourself from the past and the future. So live in the moment. The next on the list is meeting up with your friends and family. Uh, we are coming out of level five. Happy days. Um, so we can meet, start to meet our friends and our family outdoors. Uh, of course, wearing face coverings and social distancing where possible. So Give your friends a buzz, text them, go to the park. It can do so much because, you know, take your mind off it and, you know, it'll be, it'll be fun. You know, we've all been trapped inside for the past. I don't know how long. This is especially good if you're someone like me. I'm quite a social person um, and just meeting up with my friends and talking absolute nonsense with them for an hour or two is probably one of the best things I can do. Um, take my mind off whatever's bothering me and get a bit of a laugh in. So yeah. All this being said, you don't have to be meeting up with them in person. Um, a Zoom call or FaceTime is just as good as meeting up with someone in person. It might be better. You know, I have a lot of friends in Limerick and Galway. I'm in Dublin. Uh, spending most of my time in Dublin so it might not be the best thing for us health wise to be meeting up at home on the weekends and um, it is a big I suppose risk so um, if I want to talk to them I'll organise a zoom call and hopefully when the risk of infection goes down and all that lovely stuff is a distant memory We'll meet up and we'll go for coffee and all that lovely jazz. So coming in at number three is exercise, which personally is one of my favourite ways to relieve stress. 
Uh, I am a rugby player and I am studying P. So that is quite easy for me to say. But I don't think it can be overestimated the effect the exercise can have on someone if their head is just a bit wrecked. Um, even like going for a walk in the park. Um, I do it most evenings after unfinished lectures or whatever. Um, just clear your head. Um, personally, my favourite way is a good dirty rugby training session, but we can't do it at the moment, so I have to make do with the park. Coming in at number two is Netflix or YouTube or just watching streaming um, a movie or something lovely like that. Um, in my personal experience, I was very stressed the first week or two of college. You know, I didn't know anyone, didn't know where I was going. I live in the back road of Offaly. Um, but yeah, like I said, didn't know where I was going, didn't know what I was doing, didn't know anyone. And I was so stressed and I was so scared that I was going to mess up and that, you know, I was going to have to drop out and I was going to fail. And being able to take that hour or two in the evenings was very beneficial to me. Um, I still do it. Um, obviously, you know, stuff like popcorn or ice cream or anything like that is optional. It is heavily recommended though. Um, makes it feel good. Uh, yeah. There you have it. Um, obviously, there are many more ways of dealing with stress. But those are my top five. Um, do talk to someone, do reach out to people um, because odds are you are not alone. Um, yeah, I don't have to edit this video and send it off. I have no idea how well that's going to go. It's probably going to go very badly, but sure, look. Um, I also have assignments and exams to study for. So that's going to be my evening. Um, but stay safe, stay healthy and mind yourselves and mind the people around you.